Let's do a quick video. All right, so we went over a couple of chords. Well, the first thing we did was this uh, fifth fret tuning thing. We had one, two, three, four, fifth fret. These two notes are the same. Just moving it down towards the floor. Those two are the same, moving it down. Those two are the same, moving it down. This one's back on the fourth fret here. Those two are the same, and then back to fifth fret. So it's not in tune, you can tune it just like that. And then uh, we had a couple of chords, E minor, all six strings. We got a G that looks like this, or you can move this finger up one and play the pinky up right underneath it there. Same difference, here's this one, here's this one. They're both a G chord. Uh, D chord, three fingers right here. Look out for the big fat low one that's not in it. Number six is not in it. D chord and then A, three and one fret. Anytime you have three fingers in one fret, just like you would hold out your hand, this one is above this one, is above that one, is above that one. So I'm gonna play the A like this, as opposed to that, right? So I'm gonna do something like this. Our exercise for putting these chords together is playing this one, this one, this one, and then this one. And if you do that, you know, five, 10 times a day, you'll be surprised. Pretty soon you'll just be, you know, moving through them as your fingers remember where to go. Something you could do while watching TV, talking on the phone, whatever it is, just running through these chords. What we're gonna do in a minute is uh, each one's gonna be four counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then next is gonna be on to strumming. Cool, so have some fun with that. See you soon.